this is Crinstar, and today I'm going to be messing around with kick samples. Uh, I'm going to try to produce a kick sample from multiple kick samples, uh, and then and then use that as a as a sample um, kick. Um, so it's it's using a trick I had to go look up. So basically, I have I'm going to be using multiple kicks here. Um, I have I have an endless list of kicks, and at least this one. I know in battery I have kicks and a couple other stuff, so um, <clears throat> let's say I have a, a, I have a bit to play with. Um, this is not necessarily going to be uh, probably used or useful in in the future unless unless it's it's actually comes out pretty cool. This is more experimental and just to to show how to do it um, for if you want to combine <clears throat> bigger kicks uh, and big wig. So basically, like I said, I have these two. Um, normally, when you're moving around, uh, it, it snaps to the grid. You hold down shift, and you can move it a little bit finer. Uh, this is so that basically you don't have a delay, even though there's a delay in here. Turn the delay off. Got. Okay, so it's still kind of a delay. So I want to move it in. So pretty cool. Let me see if I can find another kick. Ooh, that's nice. All right, I want that one. So I've still got the same problem. This could probably use a ADSR to knock off the the transient, um, or I could probably bring in something to help with the transient, like a transient shaper. Okay, let's say that I I like that. Um, the trick here that that I had to go look up is basically this master chain. What I can do is I can select the time period with the time selection tool up here, time selection, um, and select this time period and click, right click and then bounce, and then click OK, and then it'll create this master track. So now I can, uh, let me solo this. And then you got all of them combined into one. So now I can use this and open up the sampler. Add more more uh, VSTs to it. Um, try lo fi. So now do the same thing. Time selection tool, go down here, select the time. Right click, bounce. You do pre fader, pre effects, after, uh, or custom.
I messed it up. I was supposed to. It was supposed to put some. Uh... Yeah, I need to put in a. Nice and rough. Let's see if I can't uh, filter out some of the highs for some reason. All right, same trick again. Getting a little crazy, uh, but uh, you, you, hopefully you get the point. Um, basically, you can you can set this all up, uh, master or, or single out the ones that you want to keep, uh, and just keep continuously building the the sound until it gets crazy and you're like, yeah, I see that. Um, or we can on this one. Let's solo this one. Bring it in the queue. So this is just experimental, like, hey, let's bring in a reverb. Still need to... Uh... That's kind of cool. So we take that, we'd probably just delete these tracks, leave that, and then leave, and then put in. Da -da -da -da. No. No solo. I want this down here.
annoying yet? Uh, slightly. Um. What am I looking for? Shift. Yeah, that's not annoying. <laughs> Anyways, and then and then take it. Have all this cr craziness and insanity. Take it. Bounce that, and then duplicate it so we get a little bit of. And then that's what you get. Um, at any rate, that's it's pretty cool. So you can do a little bit, change it around, master your effects, do what you need, create a new thing, and then go from there. Uh, I think I lost the, the the focus of what I was trying to achieve, but I think I got the point across. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for listening, and I will see you in the next video.